Hey, how's it going everybody? Burn Brian here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at two hot sauces. So, let's start the show. So the two sauces I hold in my hand were sent to me from Amber Button. I first met Amber through her YouTube channel called Chicks and Salsa Productions where she and some friends would get together and review different spicy hot uh, foods and hot sauces. And recently Amber has started her own line of sauces called Amber Fire which is really exciting. I'm very happy for her. Great job Amber. Uh, she recently just took home a bunch of awards at uh, Zest Fest so again congratulations on those. Um, but uh, today's sauces, the reason I don't normally do two sauces in one video, but uh, the ingredients are pretty much identical on both of these, um, but one is going to be significantly hotter than the other. Uh, so what we're looking at today is, uh, first we've got the um, original, which is their Roasted Reaper Habanero Sauce, which is more of a uh, medium hot sauce. Uh, and then we've also got the signature sauce and this is the um, also again the roasted reaper habanero sauce But this one is the extra hot variety. So On the side of the bottle it says we've combined some of the best flavors from the garden and the spiciest chilies known to man To create this savory cocktail of heat enjoy on shrimp fried appetizers pizza pasta or in beverages such as Micheladas and Bloody Mary so very cool uh, Let's see again uh, the ingredients in this one, we've got vinegar, onion, roasted tomatoes, tomato paste, um, let's see, sea salt, lime juice, spices, chili peppers, and the uh, chili peppers uh, are going to be uh, smoking Ed's Carolina Reaper, the habanero. It's got cider vinegar, yams, carrots, uh, brown sugar, garlic, and Worcestershire sauce, so very, very cool. Uh, again, the ingredients on these are the same in both, so uh, the flavor should be roughly about the same, but the heat level should be uh, much different. And of course, I'm going to start with the original sauce so that uh, I can get the, uh, you know, the smaller burn out of the way first, and then we'll try the uh, slightly hotter one. Be sure and give this one a good shake. And what do we have on aroma? smells nice I'm definitely picking up the uh, a tomato like aroma coming through which is really nice it almost has a um, like a, a tomato soup kind of uh, smell to it really very nice yeah beautiful aroma let's see it on flavor here the consistency is nice it's not uh, you know too runny at all or too thick it's got a good creamy consistency to it Let's go and taste. Mm. Wow, that is really nice. Wow, very good, great. Um, I really like the flavor combination here. Again, to me, it's almost like a um, a tomato puree or like a really good uh, tomato soup is what I'm getting. Um, Wonderful flavor again. You do uh, pick up these Italian-like flavors, like this uh, roasted uh, or and a, a garlic-like flavor, anyway. Um, and again, the tomatoes are very, very prevalent in this. Very upfront and strong. Uh, absolutely amazing. As for burn, it is uh, uh, for me on a more milder scale. Um, I could see this being a medium heat for the average person. Um, well, this is really, really good uh, on flavor. Hang on a second. Yeah, I mean, on flavor, um, I would probably give this one a solid seven out of 10 because it's a really, really nice sauce. Um, great flavor combination there. It's, a, it's something that's very, very versatile. And personally, I think Amber and I had talked about this. I think that uh, with the tomato base, that's in this, this would go ideal with just about any kind of uh, Italian dish that you're trying to create. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's really, really interesting. It just has a very tomato soup-like flavor, at least uh, some of the tomato soups I've made in some of my kitchens anyway. Um, that's the flavor that I'm getting. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I think it's absolutely delicious. Um, 
but uh, so that's why I'm putting that at seven. Uh, as for heat, I think I would probably give this one um, a two on my scale of heat because there's just this nice little bit of a tingle around the roof of the mouth and just a little bit on the tongue. Uh, kind of, uh, it doesn't at all come on very strong. It's nice and mild for me. Uh, so I could definitely see this being just a touch hotter for somebody else. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and just kind of relax for a minute. I want to make sure that I get all of the heat and flavor out of my palate before I go on and try the extra hot version. So give me just one second. And now on to the signature sauce. So since the ingredients are the same in both of these, I pretty much, uh, I'm kind of expecting the same flavor out of this one, but uh, you never know with the addition of extra peppers, it could end up uh, altering the flavor just a little bit. I can tell looking at the color um, that they're about the same, but the one with the extra peppers is a little darker, so uh, definitely looks like there's more pepper in there. Yeah, and you can definitely smell them in there. The, the, Aroma on the first one was definitely really dominated by the tomato and kind of a garlicky aroma coming through. This one is uh, very strong with the pepper, still getting some of those tomato and garlic kind of undertones, but uh, you know, really picking up the uh, Reaper and stuff that's in this one. So let's go ahead and give it a pour here. Again, the consistency is nice. I like it. It's uh, somewhat chunky to me. So it looks like I can see little bits of garlic. Uh, and, you know, actually uh, little slivers of the pepper in there. So, uh, let's go ahead and try the extra hot sauce. Ooh, definitely is extra hot. Um, it's taking a second, obviously, with the Reaper pepper and stuff, it's gonna build a little bit as it is right now. One thing that I will comment on is um, I kind of was hoping that the signature sauce would be much hotter, but that it would still be able to retain a lot of the flavor from the um, original sauce because I love this tomato bisque kind of like flavor. Um, for this, pretty much the dominating flavor is Carolina Reaper, and possibly I'm, I'm detecting a little bit of the habanero. Um, so I guess what gets me, and maybe it's just the way it was shaken, I'm not sure how it's settled, but a lot of the flavor of the original sauce is lost and all I'm really getting is a strong uh, pepper flavor. And again, if you're a true chili head, you like the ultra, ultra spicy, um, and you love the, the taste of, the, of peppers, of course you're gonna love something like this, but, uh, I guess just on flavor alone, I really don't like that it's lost all of the original taste. I'm really not getting any of the tomato or the garlic. Um, so to me, that's gonna hurt it. For this one, uh, I'm gonna have to give it a, a six uh, just because of what I was expecting it to be, which would be in addition to this, uh, you know, same kind of great flavor, but a whole lot more heat, whereas this, I really am only picking up the taste of, of the chili, the Reapers. Um, instantly the tongue lit up, my tongue is still on fire. To me that's typically like, kind of has like a typical habanero sting to it. Um, and then there's the little bit of the back of the throat from the Reaper. So it definitely packs quite a punch. So the heat, I would give this a, uh, I guess I would probably give this a, a seven out of 10 on heat because it's, it's definitely way up there and packs quite a punch. The burn is just uh, singeing on my tongue right now. But again, I don't know. And, and I, I, I just feel like the flavor, if it's, if it's going to be the same ingredients as this one, I kind of expected a little more of that great flavor from the original sauce to be found in the signature. But again, it just seemed to be a whole lot of a pepper flavor that dominated over uh, the ingredients that, that were in this. So again, uh, just my humble opinion here. But uh, anyway, I will be using um, both of these sauces in a upcoming uh, Burr Bryant's Kitchen video. I really do like the tomato bisque-like flavors that are coming through this and the garlic. And so I'll probably uh, mix the two together, maybe add a little bit of this to this to give it just a little bit more heat. And um, I think I'm going to do, uh, it's got my nose running, definitely a spicy sauce. Um, 
But uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make uh, veal parmesan, which is, you know, a classic Italian just staple dish. I mean, it is uh, just, it's one of my personal favorites too. I always love this one. Um, and uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. It should be coming up maybe sometime by the end of the week. I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, don't forget to join me on all the various social networking sites from Instagram, Google, Twitter. I'm on uh, Untapped if you like to drink beers and keep track of it. I'm also on the Steam Network and like to play some video games. So you can join me on there. And I will, of course, have a link down in the description where you can find not only Chicks and Salsa Productions YouTube channel, uh, but also um, Amber Fire's uh, website where you can go and pick up some of these sausages and try it for yourself. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.